<coughs> Alright, well, it, it's that time. ATF 8's finally, like, on a full public release. I'm in, um, the, the smallest server currently. This game doesn't support private servers, so I have to do this on a public server. Um, however, from what I can tell, this is, um, getting along pretty well currently. Also, this is pretty neat. This whole player thing on the map. Anyways, so, this is quite nice, actually. I'm pretty excited to see this when it, like, gets further out and around. It's got settings and stuff for shadows and all that. I'm gonna throw that on. So far, I've only looked at it for, like, three minutes. I've hardly even moved around the map. I've just been kind of looking at the, the whole setup here. We got a radio. They have a return to spawn button, which is actually pretty convenient, in all honesty. Um, the tool bench stuff is still here and whatnot. But, um, this is pretty nice, actually. I like this a lot. I like where this is going. Um, especially with stuff like the, the save tools kind of deal. Uh, what you can do is you, you mess around with the, the rig system. I remember the rig system last time I screwed around with it. It was a little unfinished and had some issues here and there. I like where it's gone now, though. It's actually pretty good. Put the gun on the other side of my hip, I guess. There you go. Pretty neat. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm, like, really enthusiastic with this. Currently, guns don't work. Which, you know, I fully expected. But still, I like the, the whole placement system. It's got, because you can put it literally anywhere you want. So far, the map is, um, really nice, actually. It's come a long way since the last time I checked it out, which was, like, <coughs> not even all that long ago, actually. I'm super excited for this, if I'm being real. I am. Okay, door does not work. I am not used to the mouse cursor being locked on screen when zoomed in. Alright, ATF-7. It's weird about that. Um, but, this is really cool, actually. I like this map. Like, this map's big. There's a lot to this. I can I can see this being, like, a, a, a really good game. Probably, probably the, the best, best game for a while. I know ATF-7 and 7.5 weren't actually, like, the best of games, honestly, but, yeah, 7.5 was kind of weird, but ATF-8 here seems a lot different, it's more this, it, it gives me more, like, deep winter kind of vibes. Now, back to music. The radio host guy on this kind of sounds weird. I don't know if it's just the audio or something, but he, he sounds a little funky. The music's also kind of odd, it, but I like the animations. The animations are pretty clean, actually, for the most part. That, okay, that's fun. Um, okay, I sunk into the floor now. Okay. Yeah, I crawled, and apparently that means I get stuck in the street. Okay, yeah, apparently you just can't use crawl anywhere on here except for the spawn part of the map. You can also, um, like, sprint while crouching without uncrouching yourself, so I guess that's pretty neat. But, um, yeah, the motivation system is the, the good old same as it's always been. <coughs> um, M. M. Sika. Yeah, I don't I'm gonna try and pronounce that, although it's probably wrong. Alright, uh, travel back to the spawn feature is really nice. I like that for a lot. Um, the quarry. The map is nice. I like the the detail put in the map. This is really cool, actually. This is this is very neat. Very smooth. Look at this man. He's just chilling. Got a crowbar. Okay. Anyways. Ah. <coughs> uh, pretty smooth, actually. I'd be a lot more enthusiastic if, um, you know, I could breathe properly right now, but my nose is a little stuffed up. I'm not sure why. I know I'm not sick, but, um, Jesus Christ, I'm still not used to the mouse being locked when I'm in first person. So I keep, like, trying to click stuff. I keep spinning myself around. I'll have to adjust to that, but, um, <coughs> this is really cool. The quarry is quite nice. I like it. Um, 
Okay, it returned the last location and then returned to spawn. Okay, that's also pretty cool. Okay, I like that. Like a little unstuck feature kind of deal. Okay, I haven't been to Barge Town yet. I probably should have gone to Barge Town first. Okay, Barge Town looks nice. Yeah, this is a lot. It's quite similar to what I saw last time, just that there's clearly more added to it. Barge Town looks fire though. It's right up. This is actually really cool. Hang on. I don't know how to get out of Barge Town. I'm stupid. Uh. <coughs> The lower part, these are bathrooms. Oh, so you don't have to hover over the. Okay, you just click on doors to open them now. You don't have to, like, click on the. You gotta turn my mouse and somebody down. There we go. Because uh, I think it's spinning around, like, the slightest bit of it. Okay, then. This is very cool. I can't find the barge town gate at all, so I just kind of jumped off, and uh, I can't go up. I am sinking to the help. Oh god, I can't go up. <laughs> Apparently, you can't swim in this game. Okay, it's probably not supposed to happen. If I had to take a, a good guess, yeah, I can't can't swim. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm dumb. Okay, hang on. Give, give me a second. I got this. I'll figure it out. Parkour. There we go. Alright, I did this. Okay, yeah, I'm just stupid. He was right here the whole time. There's not actually, like, anyone who will play in here except for, like, this one person they called FRP Slayer. Which is, you know, whatever. This is a lot cleaner than what I saw last time. I like the lighting they have in this because they're using what they decided to go with, like the um, the new Roblox cloud system deal, and so it's just really a lot cooler. I'm excited to see what the finished product of this game is going to end up being, because this has got a lot going on. I'm, I'm, I'm very curious as to where the lore is going to go on this. You know, I, I'd like to know what the current setup on the lore is, but I've been banned from Flashstorm for like three years, so... Um, you know... I don't think I can even appeal. I've technically been banned three times, despite the fact I was only technically banned twice. I got banned twice, and then someone just unbanned me the second time without having to appeal, and so I got re-banned for a third time, but I'm not sure if that counts as three bans, so I don't think I'm permanently banned, I think I can still appeal, it's just, you know, I can't, don't, don't exactly have the appeal document or any mods to, to DM for that, so I'm basically stuck in the dark unless people give me information. So I'm just going over what I currently know, which is, the game's here and you can play it, it's just not very super finished. The map's here, and so is the, uh, a good bit of the system, and scripting and whatnot, but like, you don't really have guns and whatnot, and there's not a whole lot of runoff, as far as I'm aware. But, um... It's pretty nice. I do like it, though. It's very clean. There's like the animations. I, I think my the animation is probably my favorite part of this. It is very nice. I'm just more curious to, to see like what items are gonna be implemented. Especially because um, you know, we were supposed to be getting items for the boxes last year. Or whatever. I'm very curious about that as well. I wonder what how that's gonna go. Over under. Cool. Like, the weird little sinkholes are actually quite a nice detail. Straight up cafe of dimensional printers. These car models are slick though. Like, these are much better than the ATF 7 car models. If, that's what, if this is what vehicles are going to look like when they're actually added to this, assuming they will be, 
which I, they probably will be because the map's very big, then I'm excited to see that because these car models are really nice. Very clean. I like it. Car. Okay, some of these are still bound to door handle clicks, but it's fine, I guess. A little odd, but... Just cool. Maker Factory. You're just kind of gonna go silent, kind of just do map exploration now. Okay, I can call in here. Kind of. Okay, I can't. Whatever. Oh, that lighting is nice. Look at those shadows, bro. What? Okay, that's cool. Alright, I'll go ahead and end it here before I do this video out for too long. If you want to check it out, you can go check it out for yourself now, because it's publicly available. So, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.